first I've got to move the boot, remove the boot from the back of this uh, pivot here uh, to reveal the screw. And um, so when I take this off now, I'll be able to access that screw and release it and then release this other screw down here as well. I can't see, I probably can get to it once I take this, uh, this rear set off. Uh, at least that's the hope. Only these two screws have to come off and then this, this arm can come off. And then we put the new arm back on and then install this back again. There you go, rear set is off. And uh, I noticed that this pin here, while I've got this out, this pin is walked back a bit, so I'm gonna have to give that some attention uh, as well. Well, I lost some footage, so I'm gonna just tell you what I did. After I undid this thing here, the rear sets, I was able to rotate the rear sets up like this, and then get access uh, to this, to this uh, screw here, that uh, affixed the, the top of the quick shifter uh, to, this, to this top bolt here. So I was able to get this top bolt off and when you did that then the whole thing comes off and now you can actually put this down on the flat and get a good uh, grip to actually remove this, this screw. So I'm gonna go off camera and take this screw off, swap the two uh, uh, levers, gear shift levers, maybe clean this up a bit since I've got it off and then uh, resume with the installation. So after a bit of fighting, I managed to get this, uh, get the gear shift lever off. And what's remaining uh, aside from the gear shift lever is this bushing here and this uh, bolt. This bolt had some Loctite on it. So uh, I don't know if you can see that there, but it's got some kind of a pink Loctite and it was kind of stiff here and uh, caused me to, to, to chew up the head a little bit, but I can, I can put it back in no problem I think. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit. Um, I don't know that there's any special lubrication that goes here. This little bit of a pinkish stuff comes off from the inside of this. Um, so I want to say that that it looks like a copper bushing. So I'm going to say that that's just some kind of a coating that uh, that is on that and I'm not going to uh, put anything to uh, I might put some WD-40 on it, uh, but basically this WD-40 here is to clean off these parts. Um, but let's see, I'll put them all together and put the assembly back together and then stick it on the bike. Now I've got this reassembled back again and it's time to torque this. The correct torque is 19 Newton meters. Uh, you want to also install this making sure that this, this arm is not up here because uh, this is in a bit so if you tighten this arm with this up here you won't get it past this point uh, so what I did was I I checked it out on the bike here um, <clears throat> like this to see the fitment and to see where the arm should should be when I put it back when I tighten this so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten this up to uh, uh, to 19 Newton meters by the way inside of this arm this gear shift arm uh, that coating was a PTFE coating. I, I found that out from my my new uh, Haynes manual um, for this bike. So this is uh, a really good buy. Uh, I usually get a Haynes manual anytime I get a new vehicle. So I'm going to take this opportunity to lubricate as best as I can this. Uh, this little pivot point here for my quick shifter it's a lot of grease coming off of there but uh, that's okay I don't know if this is coming out in the video but um, there it is it's nicely lubricated it rotates this is a really nice ball joint here um, really well made and uh, rotates very smoothly so anyway that's back like that. Use the clean end of the Q-tip to clean that up and uh, to clean up on this side as well because that's where the screw is going to go. And there we have it. Now this screw has got to go back in and I'm not sure what the torque is but I believe it does have um, 
tread lock on it so so what happens is this was like this you know remember it was upside down like this and uh, I was able to on um, you know put it on like this and then when I rotate this back down it'll be in the correct position so so this is the way it goes on uh, just stick that in like this like there it has a washer the washer ah stop the washer does not go under the head of the screw the washer goes between that these two surfaces so that's how it's supposed to be not I, I only stuck the washer on the uh, on the screw to keep it ugh, to keep it together but you put the screw in then you put the washer then you put this okay that's how it is like that it's supposed to be like that okay good I got it caught up now I've got to tighten that down and I'm gonna go check and see if there's a torque spec I can find for that I don't believe so but anyway let's let's just leave that hanging for now and go check that out uh, stay there I didn't find a torque spec for this so I'm gonna just tighten it down and see if it can accept 19 as uh, as with the other bolts but uh, it doesn't require all that torque here uh, it's not getting a lot of load yeah nah, nah, I'm not gonna put 19 uh, it's just tightened well so we just slide this uh, this boot back over here like this rotate this back down like that and it's back in position now I should just be able to put these bolts on here and uh, tighten that down um, I did not see a torque spec for that either and these bolts did not come with any thread locker on it but I'm gonna put a little bit of thread locker on it and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wrist tightening I'm using blue Loctite medium uh, so not the real heavy stuff okay but this this came off fairly easily so yeah um, not a heck of a lot of uh, uh, you know the vibration but you never know you don't want this to fall off right okay put this back in there and the top one this is probably one of the simplest uh, uh, changes that uh, you can do uh, for this bike um, not a heck of a lot of other things other than like sliders and so on are this easy that's good enough let's do this one that's good enough it was easily that tight when I took it off I think uh, I don't think it was a heck of a lot tighter than that so plus it's got a little bit of lock tight on there now so it'll be fine so this is done look at that nice and straight nice and straight back again and uh, yeah. feels good of course I won't be able to test that until I go for a test ride but all I did with this was I rotated this up like that so it twisted this screw here this adjustment screw just uh, you know through 180 degrees and then when I put it back uh, down it's back into its original position so everything is good and uh, the bonus is that this little ball joint here is now lubricated uh, this is not lubricated because it's got a PTFE or Teflon uh, lining and uh, this one here is not lubricated but it should be fine I'm not gonna bother with that so so that's that done here is the new lever and of course as we expect it's perfectly parallel to the foot peg so that's good the next day yes, it's just a little test ride to uh, to check the function of the new gear shift uh, foot lever I just realized when I brought back my uh, RS and I was putting this bike back that uh, I had not taken it for a test drive after changing that bent uh, lever gear shift lever yesterday 
So this is just a quick check. Make sure it's it's all in good working order. I don't see why it shouldn't be because it <laughs> it went back exactly as I removed the old one. So it's just an excuse to go out for another little ride, although I'm sweating. I guess the gear shift lever is working perfectly. <laughs> Basically, this uh, little test ride is uh, <laughs> is done, but um, I'm going to go to the park and get some shots and then come back. <laughs> 